Hey guys, this is Jim Kane, 4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. I know everybody's surprised. I'm outside. I'm in the shade, though. It's not bad. So, I wanted to talk about antennas today. And this is a signal stick. Bought this at Hamvention last week. Just part of the test. Nothing in particular special about it. And then I have this. This is the antenna off the BTEC 6X2. I like it because it has an orange dingus on the end and it looks precious. So what I want to do is we talk about holding our HT a certain way and SWR on HT antennas. And I wanted to see what it looks like. What's the difference if I add a counterpoise to that antenna? Does it make any difference to the SWR? Is it better to hold your radio? And I'm using a rig expert for this video. I'm not using an actual radio. Does it make any difference to hold your antenna straight up? When you talk on your HT like this, or do you need to be all gangster and talk sideways? Is that better? So we're gonna kind of look at SWR. Can't really look at power in this video, but you know the lobe on the antenna goes out from the side. It doesn't come out from the end. So I'm pretty sure that when you turn this thing sideways, half your power is going straight into the ground anyway. So FYI, not really the point of the video. All right. Let's get to it. Let's take a couple readings and see what happens when we stick a counterpoise on this bad boy. All right, so first let's get a baseline, see what we're looking like. So we're going to go into the rig expert and we're going to say show SWR, which basically is a hot scan of an SWR. We're going to pick two meters on this one. And you can see that we're getting 3.2. And I've got the antenna, I don't know, about 60 degrees vertical. So let's change that up. Huh? Drops our SWR a little bit. What happens if we lay that thing sideways? Sorry about the camera movement here. 3.0, 3.2, and then standing up, we're back at 2.8 to three. So not a huge difference. All right, let's add a poise to this antenna. Now what I got rigged up here is some adapters just so I have a good connection point for the ground. And you could argue we're almost making a dipole as well. Don't know if this is something you do with your HT, but I wanted to do a little experiment and let's see what we get. So right now, let me angle that down. Get that where you can see it. We're getting about 3.0 SWR right in there. Let me grab our counterpoise wire. This is just a length of uh, about 12 gauge wire with a couple of alligator clips on it. And let's clamp that on to our antenna lead. Not really much change. So that's kind of interesting. It's not what I expected. I really thought there would be a bigger difference. Let me make sure this is all tight. Not really any difference. Me touching it helps a little bit. Okay. So I know <clears throat> when we were at Hamvention last week, T.O. was talking to someone about putting a tiger tail on your HT antenna. I'm not seeing a lot of anything here that indicates that's very useful, at least according to the, according to the rig expert, because we're hovering right around three. And we got about eight feet of wire here. It goes to 2.7 if I lay it flat. And if I hold it up, that's probably worse. Interesting, not the results I really expected. Let's try a different antenna and see what our results are. All right, so with the 6X2 antenna, we got a better SWR than with the signal stick. 2.1 at uh, 2 meters, so that's not bad at all. Let's see what happens when we put our counterpoise on that. Well, apparently it likes my left hand even better. That dropped our SWR down. And let's add our counterpoise. And that helped a little bit on this antenna. Very little bit, 1.8 down to 1.6. And that's about the same. And if we go flat, 
So that doesn't uh, that doesn't help a tremendous amount. Now apparently holding it like this really helped. Very positional. And as I move my hand, you can see our SWR changing a whole lot. And with my hand in this position, we're getting a little better SWR. And that dropped it from 1.6 down to 1.45. So is this worth anything? I don't know. It's kind of an interesting idea. Um, maybe a shorter wire would give us different results. Something worth trying in the future. Okay, guys. That's all I really got for today. I don't know that we actually learned anything out of that other than it was an interesting little test, at least to me. If y'all got some ideas about what we're actually looking at here, drop them in the comments. Honestly, I think we just made a dipole with half of it laying on the ground. I don't see that we gained a whole lot by adding a counterpoise. My original thought was that it would create a better ground plane for this antenna. So I have a pickup truck with an aluminum body. I can't put a mag mount antenna on it. There's nothing ferrous on that truck at all. So I have a through the glass antenna and it has a little wire sticking down that's actually attached to the shield. That's it for the ground plane of that antenna. And as you know, Chuck gives me no end of grief about it. Um, you know, works for me. I don't use the repeaters that much. There's three or four locally that I'm in and out of all day. I'm only about 15, 20 miles from town where they are. So it's not a big deal for me. But I was really curious to see if I added a better ground plane that we'd see a whole lot of different results with our SWR. Kind of inconclusive, kind of meh on the results. Guys, that's all I've got for today. Thank you, have a great one, 73s. See ya.